Ok guys, so here's another video for Vuzi Station 9 and I want to talk about the wave sequencer. We have a new option now, the patterns. So you can have multiple patterns uh, for the sequencer. And there's also the drum sequencer. Now we have the drum sequencer on the wave sequencer. And it also works with the patterns. So it's a new feature. It's very handy. It works very very well. So I'm going to explain uh, quickly uh, how this works. So let's say I have a wave sequencer here and I want to add a different pattern I can just go here on a pattern and click insert new pattern or duplicate current pattern so I'm going to duplicate it okay and I'm going to change the octave a bit and uh, what happens is that when I select a different pattern here, if there is a sequence playing, it's going to wait for the end of the pattern to play the, the next one. But there is another way to work with, is the, using the, the mode here. We have normal mode, low keys mode, and any key. If you have a look at the toe tip, there is an explanation of how it works. But the basics like this, the low key, let's say I have a sequence playing here. So if you look, if you look here on the, the bottom of my keyboard, this is the note C36, this is where the split ends and the any keys below this will select a pattern so as a pattern here you can look at here you're going to see that the pattern changes pattern 2 and pattern 1 so it's pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 but I just have two patterns so it's pattern 1 and pattern 2 and of course if the sequence is played it's going to wait to the, to the end of the sequence and change the, the pattern so it's a very simple way to do that but you also have the next and previous patterns. You can use the right click and, and learn a MIDI controller. So if you have a MIDI controller of, of push buttons, you can use that for the next and previous. And there's also the option any. And any, is, it gets the notes from the middle C, which should be this one, I think. this one this is my middle C on my keyboard and the key up is the next pattern so I can have both play at the same time and in this mode it's not going to, to bother about the end of the pattern it's just going to keep playing the pattern of the key you select so this is pattern 1 and this is pattern 2 so if you have, let's say, a drum sound here, I have created a showcasing version 9, is included on a beta download, the multi pattern wave sequence here. So we have here. Oh, it's not this one, it's, sorry, it's this one, multi pattern wave sequence drums, okay. So this is pattern 1, just the hi-hats. Pattern 2 is the kick, pattern 3 is the snare. So I can play them in any way I want, let's say. Or just three together. My keyboard doesn't allow me to play that, but let me try for the mouse. I can play any combination I want. I didn't press at the same time, so I didn't press at the same time.
So it's, it's one way to create sequences. But then there is the new wave sequencer drum mode. And this is a different beast. So when you start a, a preset, that me start up here. I have my initial wave sequencer. I click it and select mode drums. And when I, when I click this, it's going to tell me that it's going to delete all the sequence data because it uses a different type of data. So, okay. And I have my blank sequence here. So, let me first load at least one sound here. Let me delete all these layers here. And I'm going to go to my drum collection. And uh, I have to load single sounds because I'm going to explain them yet. So, let me load a hi-hat first here. Uh, I have to use the sequencer now. So I have my hi-hat hi -hat loaded here. And that's going to go to the layer number one. So you can see here I have layer one. And if I right click and just move the mouse, it's going to fill just layer one. If I just left click and move, it's going to fill whatever I'm going to. So the right click is very handy for that. Let's see. Okay, it's player it's playing layer one. Only thing we're going to change is my fixed pitch here. So it doesn't follow the keys I'm playing here because the wave sequence always follows the, the pitch notes. Let, let me show. But I don't want that. So I'm just going to use fixed key. Okay, that sounds much better. Let me add on. Change the envelope. Okay, that's good work. So I have my sequence here, and you can notice that I have A, B, C, and D because I have four variations of the sixteen steps, and it plays one as one after the other. Unless you go to the open menu and select just one variation, you just want sixteen steps, so that's okay. But I'm going to show you the four variations because. I can edit the variations, let's say I want to edit just A, or just B, or just C, or just D, or all of them at one time, or just the one that's plain. So let me add another layer here, I'm going to add another layer, new layer, and this time I'm going to select a kick. Then I can change later if I don't like this one. So I have two layers now, layer 1 and layer 2. Layer 1 is the hi-hat, layer 2 is the kick. On the sequence here, layer 1 is the hi-hat, layer 2 is the kick. So I'm just going to put something very basic, let's say. So let me turn the editing of all the layers at one time, so it's going to affect all the layers. Let me add another kick, because this one is not good. Okay, this one's, this one's okay. So what happens? Let's say I want to add a variation just on the on B. Let's say B and D. So I select B and D. Now I play. Let me unselect D so I can see what's playing. Oh, I forgot to. Fix my pitch, sorry. Okay, did something wrong here. Check. Okay, that's okay. Just the sounds are not very good. Let me try again. Different high -head. Okay. Okay, that's better. Because I didn't fix the pitch, so it was going all over the place. So you can see I have the A, B, C, and D, and there's a few variations on the kick. Uh, when the ABC is highlighted, it's going to just show that one. If I want to show what's playing, I just have to click again. Or if I go to the menu here, I can see Edit. Playing variations, the same thing. 
So it's going to show what's playing then. And if I click again on the edit all, all the variations at one time, it's going to keep sh showing me what's playing, but it's going to allow me to add some, some change that's going to affect all the variations, like I have done here with this step. But I created a shortcut too. I can use the middle mouse button to affect just the, the variation that's screen playing. So the middle, middle mouse button is going to affect just the, the one that's, that's on screen. And now there's another thing. Let's go to the variation D on the hi-hat. I can right click and select doubles. Or I can just select the, the double one both doubles or just the regular step so let's hear what happens now so it's a very handy way to, to work with that um let's see what else uh, i have the accent here on the bottom so i have 15 tracks which is going to play 15 layers on the, on, the, on the sounds here. I can put 15 layers here. If I have just one layer, it's going to play that layer on all these nodes, all these tracks, sorry. But it's going to use a different node for each track, starting from the bottom up. So let's say, uh, let's me, let me start a fresh one here. If you are on Vosik 8000, you just can you just add the wave sequence in drum mode and then uh, add a different sound generator, but Vosik Station doesn't allow that. But uh, I'm going to show how to do that in another way. Um, let me show the wave sequencer here. So let me try something different. Uh, I'm going to load the Neato Sample player, which has a sine wave form. And I'm going to convert to a wave sequencer. Okay. There's a sine wave farm and use the drum mode. Since I just have one layer here, it's going to play these layers all, on all threads. Let me try some hit free. So you can use as a regular note sequencer instead. Just one way of doing. Okay, another thing you can do. Let me show that we have this one here, drum sequence staff. Okay. If you go on the options men menu, you can see there's send notes to next layer, which is what I have done here. So I have one layer with the wave sequencer and three, three sounds. So it's a hi-hat, a kick, and a snare. But on the second layer here, I have another sample player with a clap and with some effects added to the clap. So what happens here is that since I'm using the send notes to next layer, the fourth node here is going to go to MIDI channel 4, which I have set on this layer here, MIDI channel 4. So when I play it, you can hear the, the clap sound. So what happens is that the, the notes, the drum sequencer on the wave sequencer, uh, the way it works is that it will send notes to the layers and also to the MIDI channels. Uh, the MIDI channel doesn't, doesn't uh, affect anything on a layer which is the wave sequencer because it's done internally. But as soon as you use the send notes to the next layer, it's going to go to the next layer and filter with the MIDI channel here. 
that's why um, the snare sound is just going from the channel 4, which is layer 4 on the sequencer. So it's, it's a way of making music station work with multiple layers without having to reroute and things like you, you will do on Vosic 8000. Because on uh, Vosic 8000, just add the sequencer and any sound generator you want. But in here, you don't have this option. So I created this way of working with layers and channels. And uh, it's not complicated when you get how it works. Because each sample player can have multiple layers of sounds. And uh, that's how the the wave sequencer in drum mode is going to work. So you can see here the, the options, edit variations A, B, C, and D, edit all variations at one time, which is what is going on now. And there's editing play variation. You can select how many variations you want. Let's say you just want A, B. So that's 32 steps. And there's also a help here, which shows a B help here which explains pretty much everything I'm telling you now on this video and that's pretty much it for, for this video I just wanted to, to showcase the, the new sequencer and uh, it works, it works pretty well So if I duplicate this pattern here, say duplicate it, I'm editing all the patterns at one time. I just click here and slide my mouse because it's going to clear all the variations at one time. So it's going to clear the snare and all the bass should, should, should clear. Let's see if it clears. Yeah, that's it. If I select pattern one, it's going to show that it's going to play next pattern one. There is a symbol there to represent that. And uh, I think that's it. If I see any problems here, I'm going to fix for the next beta version. I already see that the uh, See that the drum kick's not in play on the next pattern, but I can fix that. So that's pretty much it for this video. So thanks again for watching and hope you enjoy Music Station 9.